The Break is a powerful and deeply moving novel by Métis author Katharina Vermette that explores themes of trauma, healing, and resilience in the indigenous community. Set in Winnipeg, Manitoba, the story is told through multiple perspectives and follows the lives of several interconnected characters as they navigate the aftermath of a violent assault on a young indigenous woman named Stella. Through Vermette's precise and evocative prose, the reader is invited to experience the complex emotional landscape of her characters and the weight of the systemic issues that impact their lives. One of the central themes of The Break is the impact of trauma, particularly in the indigenous community. The novel opens with the violent assault on Stella and from there, we see how the trauma of this event reverberates through the lives of her family and friends, as well as the larger community. Vermette masterfully captures the ways in which trauma can be both physical and emotional, and how it can shape a person's life in profound and lasting ways. Throughout the novel, we see how the characters are struggling to come to terms with the aftermath of this traumatic event, and how they are seeking to find ways to heal and move forward. Another important theme in The Break is the power of community and the importance of connection. Vermette shows how the indigenous community in Winnipeg is a tight-knit and supportive group, and how this community is essential to the healing process of its members. The characters in the novel are linked by their shared experiences and cultural heritage, and this sense of community provides a source of comfort and strength. Throughout the novel, we see how the characters are working to support each other as they navigate their own traumas and challenges, and how this collective healing helps to create a sense of resilience and hope. Another major theme in The Break is the impact of colonialism and systemic racism on the indigenous community. The novel touches on the ongoing legacy of residential schools, the effects of poverty and addiction, and the overrepresentation of indigenous people in the criminal justice system. Vermette does not shy away from the difficult and painful aspects of this history, but instead shows how these issues continue to impact the lives of indigenous people in the present day. Through the experiences of her characters, she highlights the ways in which systemic racism and oppression can contribute to the trauma that indigenous people experience, and how this trauma can be perpetuated from generation to generation. Despite the serious and often heavy themes in The Break, Vermette also weaves moments of hope, resilience, and even humor into the story. Throughout the novel, we see how the characters are finding ways to move forward and to heal, despite the difficulties they face. Whether it is through their relationships with each other, through their connection to their culture and heritage, or through their own inner strength, the characters in The Break are able to find a sense of hope and healing. This serves as a reminder of the resilience and strength of the indigenous community, even in the face of systemic oppression and trauma. In conclusion, The Break is a powerful and moving novel that explores themes of trauma, healing, and resilience in the indigenous community. Through Vermette's precise and evocative prose, the reader is invited to experience the complex emotional landscape of her characters and the weight of the systemic issues that impact their lives. By highlighting the importance of community, the impact of colonialism and systemic racism, and the resilience of the indigenous people, the break offers a nuanced and empathetic portrayal of indigenous life in Canada and a reminder of the ongoing struggles and triumphs of this community.